Hey y'all, so today we're going to have a review of the Arteza paints. So we're gonna do them with our jelly, with our Rolodex. And we're gonna do jelly printing because you know we love jelly printing here. We've started this new Rolodex as um, book as art um, project to do here together. So I thought that would be a great way to review the products and at the same time keep moving forward in our um, our pages and give some extra ideas. So um, Arteza reached out to me and asked me if I would like to do a review of their product. Um, the first thing I did was I went online and really looked. At I first went to their website, checked them out. Um, the the, the, the first determinant for me was color palettes. So I wanted to go and see what their color palettes looked like. And, um, and you know, looking online, I wanted to get a good idea of like, okay, these are the metallics. They have 36 metallics. Well, you know, that got my attention right away. Cause you know, I love using my metallics on my jelly plate and in my prints. And there were a lot of beautiful variations. I said, okay, not bad. And then, and they had this, that's 36 of them. Then they had this box of 60 of, you know, just, this is a combination of some metallics and then some, uh, you know, you're just non-metallic formulations. And I thought, okay, the colors, what I was impressed with is the range of like, if you go from yellow down into red, I liked the rate range gradation. I think that's really good because what that tells me is that these colors are going to blend well moving into the next range of colors and on our jelly plate you know it's one thing when you're painting and you can mix a lot of color on your palette and then you know you're putting it on a canvas or on paper but with jelly printing you know pretty much we don't have a lot of opportunity to mix a lot of color you know you pretty much are working from the tube so i thought it was important to have something that had a lot of color variation and and you know subtle range of, of gradation so that it would make it easier to jelly print with. And then the third thing that was, would have been a deal breaker for me is, is price point. Um, if they were like terribly expensive, um, then I would have looked at my response differently because I really don't want, with jelly printing, you use so much, you use so many, you know, so much paint, and there's so much variation. Plus, you know, it, we have various budgets and I like to try to, you know, a part of my brand is high and low. So their, their price points are really good. So I think like for 36 of them, this box runs about 30 something dollars. So I sort of figured it out that, um, and you see they come in trays like this, they're really well organized. So you kind of can keep track of them by putting them in your own you know, drawers or something like that that you use for painting. So I like that about 22 milliliters or just about three quarters of an ounce. And just do a comparison. This is two fluid ounces or 59 milliliters. And these run, our color shifts run with 3.99. So they're running about a dollar, a half an ounce. And this right here is running about a dollar for three quarters of an ounce. A little less than a dollar. So price point, I thought, okay, the price point is good. We're we're good there, um, and the colors were good. So I I accepted the um, the collaboration. I was asked and to review the product. Of course, full disclosure, they sent me all these paints for free. I love the paints. <laughs> I love them. The 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 uh, metallics, gorgeous. Lots of pigment in these paints they're perfect for jelly printing because they just got the right amount of stickiness and tackiness to them they're not too much water in them so they don't slide all around your plate so let's get started um these are some of the colors i pulled to work with today Let me move these boxes out the way um but i'll be working with these paints moving forward so um you guys will get a good feel for them um but if you don't do anything else but get the metallics Get the metallics. The box of 36, oh, it's fabulous. Um, there's one color in here that you're going to see me work with. It's called Aztec Gold. It only comes in the box of 36. So I really am hoping that I can influence the company to make this in a larger one, like this gold. This gold comes larger and it's beautiful. 
This Arteza gold is like a Baroque gold. It is so beautiful. You'll see me working with it. So I'm, I'm hoping that they'll make this bigger in one of these and they will all be happy campers, trust me. But there's some good colors here. So what we're going to do is I'm going to work with the colors I pulled. I have some stencils here. So I'm going to do a little stenciling, a little painting. Um, I already have like a print down on here. So I think I'm going to use a darker color to pull this right now so we can see what comes up. And we're just going to use some of our, our cards. We're going to do these front and back. Um, I've, I've painted a lot of my cards like this before. Um, I collage on them, graffiti on them. So I thought this would be a good way to get a, a, a good grip of cards done and um, to also use the paints. Okay. I already have, what I have down here is the Arteza white and I have the gold because I was jelly printing some other stuff earlier. So we're going to leave that and we're going to try to pull a lot of this by putting down a darker color. The burnt umber. It's a beautiful, it's a really deep chocolate, chocolate kind of, it's a beautiful brown. It really is. So we're going to put some of that on our plate and we're going to roll it out. Now this we're pulling a ghost. So we're pulling a ghost print right now with, I was really surprised at how pretty this color is. And it just goes so well with the gold. Some of our cards down. Just grab some different sections of this. Pull the prints, you know, so we can get variation, but I'll still get this one. Grabbed a lot of it. See? Let's put some of this gold down with it. So that's what I want. I like, see how the dark, it'll dry even better, but see how we have that, that gold popping? And that's what we want on these cards. We just want to have a lot. We're going to put more on it than that. I'll put this one back down. And we'll put this one down. This one I'm going to leave. I like that one. I'm going to put a different color on that one. Let's put these down just to pull some color. Put this over so we can really just get a good... See, my fan is going on above the table here. So, of course... Wanna... Wow, look at that. Ooh. <laughs> I like how it made them the marks on it. That's cool. We can use that. Oh yeah, look at that. They're yeah. very see, look at that. Gorgeous. These are quick to do. And it really does. Oh, that's gorgeous. Mm. See how that brown, how this is working over that brown? The colors blend so nicely. So you can see that gold came in behind the brown. And um, so they, what I notice is they build nicely on each other. So even that one where the line is there, see how they just build, they build beautifully on top of each other. So this is how we can just get some good stuff going there. So that's the burnt umber in the um, gold. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a few colors down so that you can see them and they'll, we'll do them all around the card. And I like the fact that I still have this brown down here. That's going to keep on pulling through and it's going to give us a lot of variation to our print. See that white is now popping through on there. It was kind of hard to see when it was still wet. Come on, let's focus. So I'll um, show better pictures of these. So let's just put some green. This is the pearl. These are all called pearl. So pearl pastel green, the pearl pastel chartreuse. I'm going to put a few colors down in the plate so that way you guys can see how they work, how well they'll blend. This is pearl pastel pink, which has a beautiful color. This is pearl pastel turquoise. Glacier blue. See how gorgeous these are? And let's just get something in the pink family, like this pearl um, amaranth red. Okay, there we go. So I'll pull this up so you guys can see those colors. 
They're really gorgeous. Lots of pigment in these. Amazing, amazing amount of pigment. So I'm just going to kind of, you know, just sort of roll them like this so that we get some subtle blending. So let's put these down. down here and get another side of this and just go ahead and it's amazing look at this I mean look at that that's just gorgeous the colors work so well together and I liked putting that brown down first because see I'm still pulling up bits and pieces of it and it gives just a lot of distinction. Oh my goodness, look at that. Just gives a lot of distinction to your print. And that's what you want, especially in a small space like this. <clears throat> you really want to be able to pull up some of that darker material. This is good to see how it's blending. See how those colors are blending? Good pigment to them. And put some more, a deeper color on here. So we're going to use deep green. So we're going to move back and forth between our solid colors in a deep color back into our, our lighter pastels. So what I'll Some texture down like that. Use the Tim Holtz burlap there. And I need to make a decision because we know it's going to be drying that there. So let's go ahead and put some of these cards back down. I'm going to work this front side first. I didn't put a lot of paint, so that's the other thing. But I really want to try to build some texture back up on the plate. So let's just see how these did. Oh, wow, look, you got that nice. I like that ink spot from Tim Holtz. Yes, yay, got some nice circles. See how that green works well with these colors? Some more good circles or, you know, dots. Yep, that little burlapy pattern, yeah, love it. Okay, so now when I remove this, we're still gonna have some of this really nice pattern down there. Let's try this pearl, this pearl papaya orange. It's a gorgeous color. Because there's not a lot of water in these, which is what really makes it good for jelly printing. For me, where I live, it uh, my plate dries out pretty quickly. So I've got to work fast. Got to work fast. Okay. Put extra material on our page here. We can use at another point. Let's see how this looks. Isn't this fun? Oh, look at that. Gorgeousness. Yeah, and look at that pearl papaya. I'm telling you, these colors are really just absolutely amazing. That's what really impressed me. I'm happy just to receive the free paints from them <laughs> because I really do love the colors. So look at that pattern and the color. That's that green in the pearl papaya. Yum. Okay. Love it. The Mars orange is what I want to try. The Mars orange. I don't think I've tried this one yet. So some of this is new. Oh, look at that. Oh, my God. Wow. I have tried this Naples yellow, and I love it, but I want to put it down separate so that I don't mix the colors. Zebra pattern. There, and we'll just put a few little holes there. So let's go ahead and get the flip side of some of these. I know I have another side here. I need to be ready. I know that my plate dries out fast. Why am I pulling around? I do not know. You guys know I don't use a ton of stencils, but 
do have some favorites. This is one of them. I'll just put this on this side. So now I'm just literally taking the cards and filling them in. But these are going to be fun for us to actually put in our in our book structure and collage on top of them and do different things. Oh, look at that. See over top that gold that I just put on that one little edge there. And we need to put more there. That didn't get too much. This that got a good start there. Okay, the ones I need to keep on working on, I need to put in a different place. <laughs> Let's see. Okay, good. So basically we're doing it, we're starting the, the patterns for the other side. This is good. I'd say that's that one's done. Oh, I'm a, this might be a good time for me to show you this Aztec gold because it's gonna be really brilliant. Got a plan. Um, I'm almost done with this one. This is so crazy. I can't believe it. I'm, I've used it so much, it's nearly gone. So I gotta save some of that. Actually, I was using it so much, I said to myself, oh my God, I gotta save some of this so I'll have it to show you guys for the review because I was going like crazy with it. Definitely. That there. 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 Let me get these corners. Okay. Trying to so, work in between from dark back to metallic, you know, dark to light, and back and forth between the flat, you know, your flat colors and your metallic colors is a good way to work to build up a lot of color and to kind of not have too much metallic and not too much flat. That's kind of like sort of how I do it. Okay, see how we're getting that, that yummy edge there? Oh yeah, look at that. Oh. You see this Aztec gold? It's just crazy good. That's good. So now we're gonna put some other color there. See that gold? Oh, I'm just gonna put a little something here on these edges because I want to be able to have that for my prints. See how we're just getting some yummy stuff there? Ah, oh, good stuff. Wow, oh, look at that. I like how we're getting some of that dark back in there more. I like how that burnt umber, I'm going to bring that back in to the card just to kind of get like a little dark background. So let's just do that. Put that down. And let's see. So let me use this stencil. It's one of my favorites too. And this is just going to pick up bits and pieces. That one's done. Let's put this one. Nah. That there. Just getting bits and pieces back on here. Just picking up some of this print. Okay. And that's how I work these on the jelly plate. I just, you know, you get a number of them printed at a time. And you can really just um, Build up your pattern like that. And just remember when you're doing it, every aspect of the card doesn't have to be printed like here. You know, we can leave that because we're gonna be collaging on top of them. This one is, I would consider done because it just gives me enough material to go from. Like this one is done. This one I'm gonna put a little bit more on the back. I think when I take these off, these are gonna be just about done. Um, so it doesn't have to be an absolute finished print. I'll just do a layer over that. See, that's done. That gave a nice little leaf pattern there. Might put a little something more on there. 
Let's see. Done. Love it. This is good. Oh, yeah, look at that. So it just got bits and pieces of this floral pattern, and it's going to leave behind this really beautiful. Look at that. It's going to. So let's see. What color do we want to roll on there? We can finish. I'm going to do that gold because that gold really. Where's my gold? It really worked out. Here it is. Worked out well. I've got enough of it. Look at this big container. And this comes in 14 colors in a box, these larger ones. And there's some good colors in there. They're more primary. So know that. But there is a silver and a gold, large silver, gold, white in here. They're mostly primary colors. But I'd say they're good for painting on larger surfaces, or it's enough in here that you can actually mix your colors and then um, print with them. But I really do like, of course, the gold, the silver that's in here. And then they're just good, bright primary colors that you can use for blending. So it's worth it or just get, you can buy these individually. This size you can get individually. So you just get the gold and be happy. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and roll this out. So with these, I'm going to now go back and put this down, because this should pull stuff. Okay, that's good there. Okay, let's see how this pulls that print up underneath. And like I said, these are just, we're just getting a foundation for our, and, and what's nice about these is you can do tons of these up at a time and then put them in into our, our journal, which is our Rolodex tray. And then, you know, you can got, just be inspired by different colorways to put, you know, sayings on them, little Quotes you come across, maybe pieces of your jelly print, small drawings, all that can now be added to these cards as a part of your book structure. And it just kind of moves us along with some inspiration that are already down on here. Oh, yeah, look at that. Let's see if I can grab some more. Yeah, look at that. I'm able to pick up. Because my plate is now starting to be a little bit more friendly because it was kind of dry. This is good. So let's pull this one up. Okay, that's good. So that's beautiful. That filled in that section there a bit. Let me just see if I can pull some of this up. So now my plate, yeah, see my plate is getting sticky enough. So I can literally really transfer more material. See that right there? Oh, look at that. Doesn't that look old world? Oh, I left a piece of it down here. Let me see if I can put it back down here and grab it. Got a little bit of it. Lovely. Oh, look at that. See that? This gold with that. That's that burnt umber. This burnt umber with the gold is just beautiful. It's like so Venetian or old world looking or something. Oh, perfect. Look at that. Oh, that's perfect. That's going to be so fun to work on. Gorgeous. I like the division of the print. See how you get such interesting prints. Oh, lovely. So, let me see what else we can do. Let's look at our pieces here. I'm going to do one other thing. These are good. I'm, they're like so much variation, and that's what I want. I want variation so that as I go through, I mean, I could, you know, I might decide, you know, at some point you might collage over the whole thing. You might say, oh, this is good. I'll just do a little something around the side because the whole idea is this, this Rolodex is it's, 
Now, see, I need something on that side, don't I? A little something. I'm okay with that because there's some lines there, so that's fun. Um, is that this, they're like, this whole thing is like inspirations for, it's like journaling. You know, so it's another way of journaling and using our bits and pieces and fleshing out our ideas and um, being able to come to it with, oh, I love that. Like why I have one that I want something else on. So I might put a little something there. So let's just go with something like, let's go back to this pink. The pink is so pretty. So we're just going to get, okay, I'm going to put some pink down just a little bit. I'm going to roll that out. So I can pick some of it up in the corner here. I just want to pick a bit up there, just a bit of it. See, that pink is gorgeous with that brown, that chocolate. See, just filled in some of that card space, which I'm loving. Let's get some more of that. <laughs> and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish it off with the PS3 resistance, which is... Some of, where is my thing? I'm gonna use this. Gotta use some more of that, of that Azteca gold. I just can't tell you how much I love this stuff. Put some down. I'm gonna roll it out. I'm roll it out sort of thick. I don't want it to be too thin so that we can put that down. And this is what I want to do on top of this one. I'm gonna do some here. Go ahead. Oh, come on. Get this locked in. And on this edge, put some extra. Let's see. Just rolling what I have on this card off. <clears throat> so as not to waste anything. And that's how we jelly print up our Rolodex cards for our, oh yeah, see, you gotta, when it dries, it's gonna pop even more, but you see those little dots just added into that edge where it was like not quite done. I liked all of this, that's why that little light bit of pink and then with the dots over it, come on, focus, gives us a nice little pattern. Same thing here, because I like the chocolate, that little pink added, and it just gave a little something there. Okay, I'm going to stop, but I can't help from making that look like that's a coffee stain. So let's get the burnt umber. <laughs> I'm stopping. I'm stopping, I promise. Oh, my goodness. This is my problem. When I start doing my art, and especially when I'm jelly printing, you can forget it. This is like not the easiest thing to stop. But right there, wouldn't it look so cool to have a coffee stain right there? Let me just find another one that this would work on beautifully before everything dries up. I'll do it right here. Let's do it like that. Still got some little dots there. Let's just see. I couldn't resist it. Hopefully I got it here. Ah, okay, I got the one I wanted. <laughs> Look at that. That is just so cool. A little coffee stain down in there. Love it. Okay, I promise I'm going to stop. Okay, let me put this to the side. But even so, I still bit, picked up bits and pieces of, you know, information. So you can do this as much as you want on your cards. Just have a session, have at it. All these colors are just gorgeous. Let's look at these real quick. So I really do like that um, maple yellow. See how it just brought a lot of harmony to this card? Just, uh. So here we have it. This is what we've done here. So we've done, how many have we done? Look at that. Uh. 
Those are good. Let me see, that's four, five, six, seven, wow, eight. These are lovely. Nine. Ah, oh, look at these. Ten. So eleven ish. Not bad, right? I really highly recommend them. And if I did, didn't, I think you guys know I would definitely say that I didn't, but I, they're really good paints and the and the price point is fabulous. They're excellent for jelly printing. I, I think they're like the formulation is actually the best for this jelly plate. So yeah, you know, if you're so inclined, grab some paints. I'll put the link below. So at least you can get over to the website and check it out and see what kind of deals they have over there. If my if my 10% off is the best deal, go with it. Ink blot, I like that. Uh, okay, so once again, Love you all. Thanks for everything. Thanks you for supporting me here over on YouTube. We have a great community here. Um, thank Arteza for the collaboration and sending me all these wonderful, fantastic paints. I'm very, very happy with their product. And until next time, love you all and happy creating. Take care. And if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe and make sure you hit the bell so that you'll get all my notifications and like the video if you do. All right, take care. Bye-bye.